We are a nation obsessed with getting in shape and eating right. Eat your vegetables! Just look at the smorgasbord of weight loss themed TV shows like The Biggest Loser. When you have food that has a low shelf life, it's unprocessed and it's way healthier. People seem to accept trainers and dietitians yelling at overweight contestants on TV. I will ruin your life in this place. But is it okay for anyone to do it in public? You clearly look like that you all you do is eat sugar. Is this the last kind of ridicule and discrimination that's socially acceptable? To find out, we enlist the help of this Fort Salonga market and pack a shopping cart stuffed full of junk food. And we hire an actress to play the role of an overweight mom. Her 10-year-old daughter is also an actress. She and her real parents are fully aware that the hurtful words that we're about to hear are all just an act. Do you want to do, like, just the bakery buns, or should we do the other buns? Um, I don't know. It's up to you, Mommy. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the calorie police. You are what you eat. This actress is going to spice things up by acting outraged and outspoken about the food in the cart and the choices our mom has made. They're teaching bad habits, but I have to take care of you later in life when you have diabetes. That's all I'm saying. Will anyone intervene when they roll up on these obnoxious, unsolicited comments? You're in control, and for you to treat her like this, you don't really love her. I love her. No, you you don't. cannot stand there and tell me that I don't love my daughter because of what I'm feeding her. Hearing the onslaught of insults, other shoppers comment, but they don't stop. So our diet dictator keeps it up. Do you have diabetes yet? Finally, after nearly 10 minutes, this young woman steps in. Mind your own business, she says, even though she seems to agree with the meddling shopper. Did you see how much sugar? Yes, I know, I know. It's like horrible. It's a nightmare. Self-mutilating the pulse, you know? Yeah. You just care? Yeah, see, I care, right? Thank you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to apologize, but... Right? I don't think I should. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, have a good one. Make sure you get fruit. <laughs> I catch up with them at the checkout counter. Is she at a point? <laughs> Christine Copley no, says no. she felt bad for the mother, but she could also relate to the calorie cop. Part of it is like kind of none of her business, but then in a way it's like she's trying to save this person's life. You so in, know? A, in a way it was good, you it think? It was good. It was positive, but negative at the same time. This shopper should know. Joe Persky was once much heavier himself and is now a fitness buff. I just came from Orca, so I and I just lost about 90 pounds myself. And look at your food. Huh? So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Salads and yep, yep, I'm not done yet. So you agree that what she was doing was right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I just don't know if I'm going to take on the cause myself. Yeah. I'll take on the cause for myself and my family. While they don't agree with the ugly words, they do find merit in her message. A philosophy similar to Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign. Let's Move is a nationwide campaign to address childhood obesity all across this country. It's the idea that we need to attack this problem from every single angle. The First Lady says that one in three children in the U.S. are obese, and it costs $147 billion a year to treat obesity-related illnesses. Back in the supermarket. Everybody in here has healthy stuff in their basket. You don't have a healthy, you don't have hey, healthy, what one I have healthy in my item. basket. Get should one fruit. You know, I do the best that I can, okay? Well, don't complain that you're overweight then. The calorie counter is at it again. But now, what's this woman's face as she gets wind of what's going on here? Sugar does change her. No, I mean, she can't. I'm just, I'm just letting her know that this is not your business. This is her life and her family. It's none of your business. But I end up paying for her health. Excuse me. This is inappropriate in a public place. And you should keep your mouth shut. I was talking about her basket. You don't need to comment on her basket. There's sugar everywhere. Uh, excuse me. Do you have a right to comment on her? I have a, what, I, I, do you have a degree? Are you a doctor? No. Are you in I'm a doctor a setting? You have no right to go up to somebody in public and say something and humiliate them. 
Did I humiliate you? I Look at her face! Did. Look at the other people around here. They're all embarrassed by what you're saying to her. She's crying. You have no right to talk to her like that, and you owe her an apology. I'm not going to apologize. It's well, a fact. Well, then move away from her. It, I'm, well, not, I'm not moving anywhere. Then you leave. You okay, fine. No right fine. I'll leave. Her. I'll leave. But she should watch what she puts in her basket. Well, That's all I'm saying. Well. I didn't even hear I'm more on TV. I can't believe I just right, did. I'm leaving. You're amazing. I, you're <laughs> really sweet. She's an actress, yeah. and she's crying now, yeah. you see? <laughs> because... Okay. Because it resonates with you, you know, I'm an actor, but this is also my life, and people can be very cruel and mean, and there are also good people who, who jump in and know what's right and wrong. And I watch your show all the time, and I always say I admire the people that jump in and help people, and, boy, and if I was in that situation, I would do that. Well, you were strong. No, I feel bad that I yelled at that other woman now. <laughs> Patricia Moisen is a school librarian, and she says once she saw the little girl, she had to step in. I just can't stand people saying something nasty to somebody else just bothers me. I see too much of it. I would never embarrass somebody at home, because I know what it feels like to be embarrassed. <laughs> People wonder why they're fat. <laughs> this calorie counter is an actress working with us. When she launched into an unsolicited tirade about the food in this woman's cart, some defended our shopper. You have no right to talk to her like that and you owe her an apology. But what if, instead of a woman, our diet dictator is a man? You guys sure love sweets, don't you? We're having a party. Look at what's in this carton here. It, it doesn't matter what's in our cart. It does matter because it makes you chunky. Oh, you are abusing your child. I am not abusing my child. You are told, look at that I is child abuse on wheels. Seven. Remember, okay. the child is an actress who understands that the ugly words are all just part of our scenario. Most people just ignore him and keep on moving. Do you see this, ma'am? These women at the deli counter stare motionless in disbelief. But now our diet dictator really pushes the envelope. I, I feel really bad about what happened before. I just want to give you a couple of things that might help you out. Keep All that. Right? No. He actually tries to put vegetables into their cart. You can just Wouldn't go that, to your own shopping. What do you mean it's none of my business? Wouldn't it help her out just one green? When he leaves, mother and daughter are consoled by this woman, who also calls the store manager. It, it's just disgusting, really. It really is disgusting that somebody would think that they have the right to come up to this total stranger and address you like that. Yeah. The manager is also an actor. I don't know. Why don't you tell me what you did? I'm looking at this cart of poison, and I'm looking at that kid there, and somebody needs to help that girl out. She walks away dumbfounded at what she hears. But wait, he isn't done yet. You're like a drug dealer. You're like the coke dealer dealing the kids. What, are, what do you sell drugs at the junior high, too? Really? No. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah. We can't well, listen yeah, to this Just walk baby. away. Just yeah. make the problem worse. It just got to me. Then the look on her face and her daughter's face, I just felt like I had to go get the manager. It turns out Tiffany Vassallo is a high school teacher. I'm always trying to teach my kids in school not to bully each other and to be respectful. And this was a perfect example of what not to do. Oh, I'm just saying, you got a lot of candy. Tom is at it again. But within seconds, people rush to the shopper's defense. Excuse me, sir. Nobody's commenting about what's in your car. Well, it's funny that you ask. I got carrots. I got, I got coconut water. I've got an apple. Okay? I mean, this is healthy stuff. Good for you. Go away. What do you mean, go away? Go away. Go away now. What are you talking Leave about? Leave her alone. She is abusing her kid. Maybe it's for a party. It's none of your business, okay? What do you mean it's none it's of my none business? It's none of your business what she's buying. Okay? I disagree with you 100%. Look at Good. what's in this cart, man. I don't care what's you've in got, her cart. Seriously, you've got... I don't care what's in her cart. Hydrogenated oil. Leave her alone. you got... Look at this. you got her chips. Her I mean, is there anything in there? There's... I can't even believe this. Leave her alone. I'm just trying to be help Why out. Why don't you go about your business, what okay? If, if she was smacking the kid, would you turn a blind eye, too? Excuse How? me? This is child abuse. Excuse me, are you... You know what? Yes. I'm trying to... I'm being this very... Is that's right. that this that these poor people that's are going right. to for the rest of the day. You know? Hey, buddy, you're abusive to her. Apologize to her right now. You know what? I'm, I apologize to the kid that I couldn't do anything for the kid. How do you not know you're having a party? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You? I'm so sorry. You I, really I can't, can't really believe he would say something, you especially in front of my daughter. You know? Kate, why don't you go find your daddy, okay? okay.
We send the young actress away, and now the mom is comforted by a third woman. She obviously has a little bit of school. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I just, people are just so rude. I, I, at first I thought he was just like shooting the breeze with you, and then, you know. You know, I can't, I, I can't imagine no, somebody I, coming up and, no, no, and doing I have that. another daughter, too, you know, we're not exactly, you know. It's just rude. You don't look at when it's in someone else's car. I'm John Quinones. <laughs> this is all part of oh my what, God, you, what you what do. What would you do? <laughs> what were you thinking? That it was very rude. It's nobody's business what somebody buys. I was not exactly thin growing up. I know what it's like. What would you tell Amy about what her mom did? I would need to tell you that your mom is awesome. Awesome indeed. But how will people react if we change the race of our shoppers? The mom and daughter pushing that cart full of junk food. This is poison Can you leave my mom on alone, wheels. Please? No. I, well, listen, I'm Stay doing it for your we sake, don't have honey. I'm doing it for your sake. I didn't sake. ask for your opinion, sir. Please go away. Stop. Stop what? This is abuse. She needs to be interviewed. You need to, you need to stop. You need to leave. This is what she's doing. Why she's just eating a big bag of sugar. Leave. Just feed her the sugar straight, is just straight to the spoon. Is this yours? That's her. That she might as well be hers. Leave. Just would you take the broccoli, please? Sir, you're just try. You're disgusting. You're ignorant. Well, you're, ignorant. you're being very ignorant. Right well, now. What am I being ignorant of? Maybe you should go and, and read a book. This is Stop. this is child abuse here. Listen, you and she you needs help. Child abuse. Don't know this woman. Exactly. Maybe somebody needs so, to intervene and help. Yo, this that's is, not you. Okay. Childhood obesity. I don't want to hear it. And what do you want to hear? What, I don't want to hear you at all. What if she was smacking her daughter right in front of me? I want to hear you. Both. The brave young woman stands toe to toe with him, and it doesn't look like she intends on backing down. Go get your back, please. Just and, and what's the cure? Thank Six you. packs of mac and cheese? This is not helping. And now this guy, who's been hanging back, can't hold back any longer. He calls for the store manager. You know, behavior is beyond irrational. I agree about, you know what? I owe her an apology about my behavior. Okay. That's but you start. gotta agree with me about the card. This Privately. Is the thing. It is absolutely not the door business. John Mahoney knows all about eating right and staying fit. Turns out he owns a few fitness centers. So you listened for a long time. I did. And then what did you decide? I decided that enough was enough. Hey, I, I understand, and the ironic thing, as he's saying, can't you agree with me that she shouldn't buy this? And I'm a health nut, so I agree, but his method of handling it, I thought was totally inappropriate. And what about the first woman to step up? I wanted to punch him in the face, but not really. I just wanted to go away, leave her alone, because it's hey. really mean to, to publicly, you know, to face it. someone, yeah. Humiliate someone. Overall, regardless of the race of our shoppers or the sex of our calorie cop, lots of people stop to help put an end to the ugly verbal abuse. What do you want your daughter to learn from this? That bullying is never okay. And step in as one person can make a difference. Okay? Don't get upset.